So here's the thing. It's very easy to put on a suit and tie and look like an adult. But looking like an adult when you dress casually is a completely different story, right? Like, how do you take these universal casual staples like jeans, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and make them age appropriate when they're worn by guys of all ages. There are a lot of ways to get this wrong, and the worst is being an older guy looking like he's trying too hard to look younger. So how do you do it? How do you dress casually and look like an adult? In my experience, there are seven things you need to pay attention to. There are some key principles to follow, and there are some really easy upgrades that you can make. I'm gonna share those with you in this video and show you what it looks like. I'm Brian Sakawa, you are watching He Spoke Style, and this channel is dedicated to giving you all the advice and inspiration you need to dress well, develop your personal style, and gain more confidence. Before we get into it, I wanna take a quick commercial break to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online. Here is a statistic for you. Two out of three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they are 35. And the best way to prevent it is to do something about it while you still have hair left. With Keeps, a licensed doctor reviews your information online and recommends the right hair loss treatment for you. Then your treatment is shipped directly to your door every three months. Keeps offers generic versions of the FDA approved medications for hair loss, which makes it more affordable. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash he spoke style. That link is right down there in the description. Click on that to receive 50% off your first order. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to think about how you used to dress when you were younger, like when you're in high school, for example. So for me, what I like to wear a lot of the time were rock band t-shirts, t-shirts with some kind of saying on them, sweatshirts with logos. I had this jean jacket that I used to wear all the time that had pins and patches all over it. And if you think where I'm going with this is to tell you that you shouldn't wear logos or graphic t-shirts or stuff like that, that's not quite what I'm getting at. Yes, I do think that graphic t-shirts, ironic t-shirts and logos, all that stuff make you not look your age if you wear them when you are older. But what I wanna focus on here is that all those things just look really busy. To wear t-shirts and sweatshirts and jackets as an adult and look like an adult, it's best to simplify. So instead of a graphic t-shirt, choose one in a solid color. Instead of a sweatshirt with a big logo on it, go with a classic style without a logo. It's pretty simple. And keeping it simple like that is one of the keys to looking good dressed casually as an adult. All right, so the next thing you need to focus on to dress casually as an adult is one of the exact same things that I constantly preach about when it comes to looking good in a suit. Your clothes have to fit. Doesn't matter whether it's dressed up or casual. If your clothes don't fit, you're not gonna look like an adult. You're not going to look like you know how to dress your age. Now, one thing I wanna emphasize here with fit is that when it comes to how your clothing should fit, that it really depends on two things, the look you're going for and your body type. If you're like me and you consider your style to be classic with a modern sensibility, that tailored fit, you know, slim, comfortable, definitely not tight or form fitting, it's probably what you're looking for. If you're someone who enjoys keeping up with trends here and there, uh, there's nothing that says you can't do that as an older guy, but I would just say, don't overdo it. But how do you actually get your clothes to fit the right way? The first thing I would recommend is to find a great tailor, even for casual clothes. A good tailor will be able to make any number of small tweaks, you know, whether that's hemming your pants or jeans. Yes, you can do that too. Shortening a shirt sleeve, little things that go a long way to helping you do grown up casual right. And if you're wondering how to find a great tailor, check out that video I've got linked right up there. The second thing I'd recommend is to explore a variety of different ready to wear brands. Different brands have different fits. Some will work for you, some won't work for you. Figure out what does, what matches your personal style, and you will be well on your way. So if there's one thing I really wanna stress here, it's that there are many different ways to dress casually and look good as an adult. I don't want you to think that I'm saying that you have to dress like me to look good or to look right. We're all different. We live in different places. We have different jobs. We have different experiences. I went through this like little crisis maybe six, seven years ago. I used to think that I needed to constantly wear something different, you know, like to keep showing people that I quote unquote knew how to dress. But what happened was 
was that I started driving myself nuts. I was getting frustrated, it felt too complicated, and, and honestly, I didn't feel like myself. At that point, I realized what I really like to wear, and I got really comfortable with the idea that that was my style. So I stopped driving my behaviors in terms of style based on what I saw other people doing and learned to really like and appreciate what I like to wear. Knowing what you like and sticking to that and developing a sort of uniform for yourself, that's not boring, that's cool. It's what makes you, you. It becomes your calling card and it becomes your style. If you apply what I've talked about already, simplifying and paying attention to fit, that's gonna work in a variety of different styles and approaches. But it's most important that you're comfortable because if you're not, that's going to negatively affect how you carry yourself and your confidence. So at that point, it's like all that work would be for nothing. All right, next let's get into some specific upgrades that you can make and starting off with one of the ultimate casual staples, jeans. If your jeans are worn out, full of holes, poorly fitting, meeting either baggy or too long where they're pooling at your ankles, it is time to upgrade to some jeans that fit right. Now, you might wonder, how many pairs of jeans should you have and what colors should they be? So the first pair you need is a slim and dark pair. This is your workhorse pair of jeans and it will be one of the most versatile in your entire wardrobe. You can wear them casually and rugged and they can easily transition into other slightly dressier casual scenarios like a date night, or even business casual, depending on your workplace. The second pair I recommend is a pair of black jeans. Of course, black jeans have those rock and roll connotations, but you know, as you get older, they take on some other properties that I think are beneficial. They're slimming, and they're very easy to dress up casually with just a t-shirt and a casual jacket. The third pair I recommend is a light wash pair. They're sporty, great for the weekends, and work with a variety of shirts, from t-shirts to polos to button-ups. And if you're comfortable with it, you can go ahead and add a white pair in. Lots of options there, especially in the summertime, but I know that's not gonna be for everyone. Next, let's talk about footwear, specifically sneakers. Now, I like wearing sneakers as much as the next guy, but I'm not gonna be wearing a pair like this outside of the backyard or the gym. Athletic shoes as your go-to footwear outside of working out or working around the house are a complete no-go. Instead, upgrade to a pair of minimal low-top leather sneakers. They're still sporty, but help make a casual outfit look a little more put together and considered. I'll talk about and show you some other footwear options later on in the video. As you get older, you look more mature, and your casual dress should also look more mature. An easy way to do this is to upgrade some of those classic casual outerwear pieces that you have in different materials, textures, and colors. So for example, classic denim jacket. I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing this as an adult, but I will grant you that it does appear more youthful. But the same garment in a light tan corduroy, caramel colored suede, or chocolate suede has a completely different look and feel. Not only does it look more mature, but it's also more elevated while still being casual. This next upgrade might be a little controversial since we're talking about dressing casually, but I do think it's important as an adult, even when you're dressing casually, to have a go-to sport coat. So our goal is to make a casual outfit look more mature and age appropriate. And if you think of an outfit as consisting of three main garments, pants, shirt, and some kind of jacket or outer layer, all you need to do to make a casual outfit look more mature is to add a dressier piece, one dressier piece into the mix. And I think a sport coat is one of the easiest ways to do that. Take this outfit, for example. Jeans, t-shirt, hoodie. Swap out the hoodie for a navy sport coat, and I don't even have to tell you because you can clearly see the difference that just one small change made to the entire look and feel of this outfit. So we've talked about a few general things you can do as well as some specific upgrades you can make, but instead of just talking about it, what I wanna do next is to show you what these things look like in practice. Five looks for various seasons coming your way. Let's jump right into it. So this look here is like the clearest illustration of pretty much everything I've talked about. Two real simple casual pieces, light gray sweatshirt, light wash jeans, classic sporty combo. 
Over that, I've got a lightweight navy suede jacket from a brand called Valstar. You know, for a sporty look like this, I think a crop jacket works really well and the darker color complements and completes the look. Some simple two-tone sneakers. These are from Suit Supply. Again, kind of sporty with a contrast between the taupe of the leather and the white sole. On my wrist, I'm wearing the Longines Heritage Classic Sector Dial and a classic pair of Ray-Ban Clubmasters to finish everything off. Here we've got a classic kind of rock and roll look, black t-shirt, black jeans. Sky's the limit when it comes to what to style with this. I kept it simple, but with some pretty big contrasts. Starting with the jacket, it's a classic trucker jacket style, but in a gorgeous caramel color and buttery smooth suede. Both the color and the texture elevate the look and really make it stand out. More contrast to anchor the outfit with some white Common Project sneakers. I'm a fan of the white against black for me. Uh, I think it just creates more visual interest and a, kind of like a visual layering. On my wrist, got the Speedy on a black NATO and then keeping the rock and roll vibes here with some Jacques Marie Maj shades. All right, next we've got a summertime look to illustrate that casual doesn't always mean jeans, especially in the summer, you know, when you're not really gonna wanna wear jeans. Very easy to substitute a pair of khaki cotton pants. Going with a simple brown gingham button up shirt here. Both the shirt and the pants are from our collection available in the shop. And I mean, it's a real simple combination. What really takes it up a notch and completes it are the footwear and accessories. Got a suede tassel loafer. Again, suede always feels more mature to me. Suede belt to match. Panama hat makes the silhouette more complete. And the watch and sunglasses just finish everything off. Here, we've got a jeans and sport coat look. Foundation is just really simple. Tan crew neck sweater paired with some slim dark denim. On its own, casual, it's fine, but you can really elevate it and make it more grown up with the addition of a sport coat. I love this particular jacket with this look. It's a clean and simple color palette with the browns up top, the blue jeans, and white sneakers. If you come in closer to the jacket, you can see there's a nice texture to it. Makes it more interesting and again, like suede, definitely appears more mature than a regular old solid color jacket. Watch is the Vacheron Traditionnel. Sunglasses are the Dylan by Jacques Marie Mage. Uh, you can easily wear a nice pair of walnut derbies if you wanted to dress this up a bit, but to keep it more casual and sporty, I like the white sneakers. Another summer look here, substituting jeans for some cream colored cotton pants, which I'm pairing with a black polo shirt. Very simple combo, very high contrast. Polo shirt, classic casual piece, but this particular shirt from our collection feels more elevated and grown up for two specific reasons. It's got a stronger collar, so uh, keeps it shape better, easier to wear under a sport coat if you want to do that. And it's got a five button placket rather than the standard three button. I deliberately did not wear a belt with this to keep it looking very simple and clean. Got a white baseball cap with this along with some white sneakers to create some balance top to bottom. Great sporty watch, the IWC Spitfire on my wrist and finished off again with the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. So if there's one thing I really want you to take away from this video, it's the power of simplicity. Your goal shouldn't be to have lots of clothes. It should be to have less clothing that you can do more with. And the capsule wardrobe concept is a great way to get started. Click on that playlist over there because I have six different capsule wardrobe videos, including the ultimate beginner's capsule wardrobe, a business casual capsule wardrobe, professional, and one for every season as well. It's got all the pieces you need, lots of different ways to style them, so click there to get started now.